<laughs> no problem. And, and don't forget to take a snapshot because I think that's part of the, the project too. A snapshot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. You guys want to do that now? I can like sure. do the featuring. Okay. All right. Well, smile. <laughs> All right. I took that and I will save that on a paint thing. All right. Okay. Cool. How many, how many, how many screenshots we needed to take? Uh, I think I'm just gonna... <laughs> Okay, we, you guys we, all looked awesome. Uh, we do one now and then we do another one after you finish and then we do the third one after I finish. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. All right. Nice. I already watched your video, actually, YouTube video. Oh, hey, leave no. here, leave here. Stay here. Then let's take some. Get All right. Some. So I will stop share. So yeah, anyway, so it's in the assignment three forum. So if, if you're yeah, interested. That's okay. I, I take a picture of the whole thing. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, wonderful, wonderful, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. That was awesome. Good job. Oh, <laughs> very nice. No, I even though I make kimchi all the time, I had no idea why we put salt, why we get rid of the oxen. I had no idea. I learned something. Oh, I'm so glad you learned something. Awesome. I think uh, awesome. maybe I can learn to do this so my son mm. he doesn't need to go out to buy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, homemade things are uh, normally it's uh, more uh, safe. Mm -hmm. Clean. It, it's yeah. fun. I mean, like I would, uh, uh, if you're starting, I would always recommend to start with small batches because that was one of the errors I made. I like bought like this huge like cabbage and then like made so much and then it didn't turn out so well and I was like stuck with uh, lots of kimchi. <laughs> that was. <laughs> but you then can, I made you like. Can... Hmm? I said that you can add something underneath your YouTube videos. So okay, I'm studying. So if you want order. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Add, add it to skip the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually adding it to a lot of cooked foods, like just little by little. It's like, yeah, like I'm going to like use it up eventually. Awesome. That's awesome. All right. Um, okay, Yulin, it's uh, your turn next. It's my turn. Okay, great. <sighs> Let me share my screen first. So can you see my, uh, what I'm sharing? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so now I can start, right? Today, the title of my presentation is a Creative Commons License. In short, it's a CC license. Have you wondered how to download and share digital content legally? And how do you let people know that you want them to reuse your work? Creative Commons licenses can help you do both. CC licenses helps create, help creators share their work without, without losing their copyright. It also helps cre other creators use original content and not to get sued for copyright infringement. So normally when you create something like a picture, a song, a painting, or a book, you are the creator of the work. Copyright law allows you to decide what people can do with your creation. And as a copyright holder, your right of the work is automatically protected by the copyright law. If people want to use your, your work in their movie, in their YouTube video, or in their like PowerPoint, et cetera, they need to ask you for your permission. But normally, the process to get the permission could be very complicated. You may even need to hire a lawyer to write the terms of use about your work. It could cost a lot of time, money, and energy for both creators and the users. And the CC licenses solve this problem by having lawyers write the standard terms for six typical usage of others' work. They use very simple text and icons to express these terms and make them accessible online easily. Creators can select the terms that suit their situation 
and add the corresponding license to their creative work. And the users can use the work according to the CC license term that's selected by the creators. All of these are free and convenient. The so CC licenses have CC licenses have four uh, four basic elements. So the first one that's ensured as a BY, it means the attribution. If you use the, the work with these elements, that means you need to attribute the author. You need to give them the credit. And the SA means share alike. If you use the work with this icon, that means you need to share the same as the original work. Uh, I think that simply uh, you just need to use the same CC license as the original work. The ND, that's a short form for the now derivative works. It tells you, you can only use this work as it is. You cannot change it, you cannot remix it, you can, can do nothing, just use it originally in your work. And the NC means non-commercial. That means uh, for your new work that's using this work, you cannot uh, sell for money. You cannot use it for commercial purpose. So these four basic elements combined differently forms these six types of license. That's interesting. Before I just thought, oh, six license, you know, what, which one is which one? But then I just figured out it's very easy to uh, memorize this. Actually, the first three one, for each one, you add the NC, non-commercial, that will become the last three. You know, it's a six, actually it's a first three one, a first, first three, add an NC for each one, that will be the last three. Now let's see as a creator, how, how can you get your work licensed? So you, you normally you need to go to the creative uh, creativecommonlicense.org, share your work. You come to this place, you will see this page and you click the get start, you come to this page. When you come to this page, actually you need to do, firstly, you need to do two things. Firstly, you select uh, from this three. Yes means attribution only, and no means you don't want others change your original work. And uh, yes, yes, as long as others share alike, that means you want them share, use the same CC license. And next step, you need to decide if you want others use your original work for commercial purpose. After you select this, you can see, because actually this is a video, it's playing, so you can see this part is changing, but this part tells you what license, license you get. And this is the icon. Actually, this one and this one are the same. After you get this, you will add this on your creative work. Now, let me ask you a question. Uh, do you think, you know, at this point, are you done with apply for CC license? You can uh, unmute, no. Okay, how about, what do you think, Ari? <laughs> no. Okay, so many people just come here and get this icon and they put it on their work, that's it. But actually you need to come to here to click this link to put some information that the purpose is to have, help others to attribute you. You click this link, you will come to this page because this page actually, I mean, the original page has more fields to fill, but these three are more important. You fill the title for your work here and the author's name here and the URL link to your uh, work. So these are very important, but I think uh, um, many people just uh, get I can put it there. And the thing is that uh, you have the license, you have the term, but uh, what the, license and term protect. If you don't put this thing, people don't know, right? Then if they want to attribute you, they don't know attribute, you know, which person, right? And so this is called best practice for a play, a play, best 
practice for application uh, CC lessons. We in short, we call it a TASL. Because I think as a teacher later, when you teach students, you need to tell them how to, how, what's the best practice. The TASL means T title, A author, and S URL link, and L license. But then most people will just get the license. So you see like uh, after you put, I put my information, so you can see uh, the title is presentation about the CC license. This is the title for my work. And this is the author's name, I put Susan. And uh, actually this is the link because now this is a picture. So I, it's not going to work, but in the real uh, web page, you, if you click this, it will lead you to the original work. So that's a, so that's a URL or we can call it a source. Yeah, so this is very important. Now let's see as a user, how can you find the work with this license? Because for many websites, they provide the feature for people to find the content or work with CC license. Now today I will talk about two. So the first one I will talk about YouTube. Uh, you Firstly, you come to YouTube, you put the search keyword in the search field, and then you can click on search. You will see the filter. And uh, actually right now, all the videos that meet your requirement, but they might not be, CC, uh, they might not have CC license, but uh, that's possible they have CC license. And then you click on this filter and you will see many uh, options. Click on create comments and then you will get another set of videos. And that's a, that's a subset of the uh, your last search. And all of the videos have, have the CC license. But I, I found that uh, for the YouTube video, they don't have, they don't, they only provide one uh, option. You can only select the uh, attribution, the first one. So to double check, you can click on the show more underneath the video. And then you will see, after you click on show more, normally you can see the blue text. Uh, and then you, you will see create a commons license attribution. So that's why, so that's just the first one, the, the most uh, open one <clears throat> and uh, reuse a lot. The second place I would like to mention is uh, you can also come to the uh, search.creativecommons.org. So, but this place, most of them, is, you get an image. You put your search keyword here. So this is a there are two uh, checkbox here. If you want to use the original work, you know, create a new work that, but you might use it for commercial purpose. You check this one. If you want to modify it, you check this one. Otherwise, you can leave both checkbox unchecked. And then after you put your keywords, you click on search, you will get many uh, photos. And uh, you can see actually, uh, this is a picture. So if that's a web page, if my, my mouse hover on, on one image, you will see the CC CC icon, CC license icon. And if you're interested in someone, you click on it, you will get into, you, you will enter the page with the detailed information. See, this is what we call the T title, A author, and uh, S source. But uh, you, you may ask, so I cannot see the link, but uh, we know if we click the button, the, that's a hidden link it will lead you to the original website and the license, T-A-S-L, for thing, that's here. Because normally when you want to use an image, you're not going to use this one because that's the, it's, this one has a very low resolution. You want to click on the link, you go to the source website to download the high resolution one, right? To conclude, CC license have this uh, benefits. First one, it lets the creators to have their work reach more people. And then it, uh, they get their work further developed. If they don't use the ND, they permit, they allow others modify their work. So that means more people can put their thoughts so the work maybe gets even better. And uh, it lets the users can use the original content 
uh, confidently. You don't need to worry. So you are one day you will be sued for copyright infringement, right? You're confidently and legal. Another important thing is, uh, I think most please won't mention that, but uh, it's uh, the CC, uh, CC license greatly promotes the open education resources. Because that actually there's many uh, low income families case, they cannot access education. So uh, there's a, a moment as an open education moment. So many resources uh, can be found for this case. But the thing is, when we have CC license, it allows the authors share their work, but still keep their copyright. That's why it encourages more people to put a resource in this uh, platform. Uh, that's all about uh, the CC license today. And uh, thank you very much. You can ask a question, but uh, I also have a quiz. We do which one we are going to do it first. We can do the quiz first. Okay, we do the quiz first. Quiz first. Quiz I actually first. had a question. Like there was a part that you mentioned something like, when you copy this, like this is not enough, like you're not done. But, and then you showed how you can register your work in Creative Commons. But like on that website, it said that it was optional. So is it optional or do you have to do it? Uh, this is a situation. <clears throat> Many people uh, like uh, because I, I found uh, especially in our uh, this program. So normally the instructor will say, that, "Oh, okay, I just want to see that icon uh, mm -hmm. in your work." No, because nobody really tell you oh such in such detail, right? So people just uh, go there, get an icon, you know, like a, you know the, the, the sixth thing there. You, you you select the one, you put it there, right? But actually, when you put that thing there, that's uh, that you can see, you can think that is a, uh, that is agreement. That is a terms, uh, license terms. That is tells you, okay, uh, the user can use that this way, this way. For example, they need to attribute the author, or they can not use it for commercial uh, purpose. But the thing is. What they're talking about. But yeah. if you put your name, if you put a title, I will say, okay, this work is uh, has this name, that's uh, Martina is the author. So I attribute it from Martina, and uh, the original thing is uh, there. That's it. Uh, yeah. So the TASL. Yeah, I get it. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. That's that's right. uh, I think that's the okay. Now let's do this. Uh, the, a very easy quiz. <laughs> I will select it. I will, I hope I can, because this is my first time to use this. Uh, I am happy to learn the, this from you from last, uh, our last meeting. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, it uh, takes some time. So please uh, get your cell phone and put this number and then I will be able to start. <laughs> Oh, I'm still waiting. Uh, have you get in? Can you see the my screen? Oh, Ari. Okay, I can see Ari. I need uh, another two. Okay. 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 Keep <laughs> keep chilever. Okay, let's start. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, what does the following CC license mean? Whew. Oh man, this was tough, okay? Uh, ah, well, really? I, I, like think that think, one. I think we oh. learned the same thing. You, you, you all used this before, right? <laughs> okay, three. <laughs> so that, uh, wait, wait, let's go next. So uh, yeah, everyone got the right answer. So uh, actually that's very easy. Uh, next. You guys are good. Uh, should I should go next. True or false? You can make a t shirt for sale. True or false? Yeah, you are great. <laughs> so, so you are, we all got, got gets the right uh, answer. Okay. So the third one 
we were close to then how many types of cc <laughs> that's very easy right oh, oh there's <laughs> Yeah, so uh, they are. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy, you know, we have this, but, you know, we have six types of license, but uh, it's, a, it's a combined from four basic elements. Okay, next one. Next. On fire. <laughs> this one is easy, right? It's my name. <laughs> uh, but this one is very important. Um, okay. Wonderful. Okay, great. Cool. So this, and actually, the TSL that's the something. Actually, I believe everyone here have been using the license icon, but uh, because we are we, we have never have a class, right? We never got a class, so that TSL is important. So normally nobody will mention that. <laughs> I can see that. Okay, uh, that's it. I will stop sharing now. Okay, now you, now I think I will accept the questions. If anyone have uh, has any question, please ask. But you know, for my assignments, I did not uh, register. I just actually copied the license. Yeah, I that's put it on my presentation and the videos because I really did not know about this part, uh, like putting my information there. But my question is like, but all my work I put my name and my information there still like the you know, like front of the videos like first page it has my information mm -hmm. but does that mean that people when people see my videos or presentation they can still kind of credit me because they can find out my information and everything right uh they can credit me so i will answer you this question so this is actually i want to talk in the presentation i just found that it make will make the presentation too long. Uh, so what I, I would like to say is, uh, I said, okay, if you just get the icon, like it, actually I did the same thing like you did. That means that uh, for, I think maybe for last course, I, I remember there's one course that's uh, evaluation for learning, something like that. That's us, require us to make a video. Uh, the, when the instructor said this, I thought, oh, what should I do? And then I go, I find a video with this thing. I just uh, I take a screenshot, <laughs> like just like you, I just put this thing there. Mm -hmm. But then because I, I prepared for, while I was preparing for this presentation, I found that, the, you know, that's, oh, this is something I didn't do. Actually, actually, we should go there to get that. But the thing is, your question is, for the YouTube video, that's a little bit different because when we upload our video, we have a, a URL. And that means when people see your, you know, your video is your original work, that's your creation. Someone, we call that a reuser, want to use your original work. But when they see the, the, your YouTube video because they are in the YouTube site, they can see your URL, they can see your uh, the title because you put a, you, you you have a title for your video, and uh, if you are using personal channel and use your personal name, they can have your name. But uh, this is uh, that that you but you cannot just buy this. Just decide. So okay, you just uh, get the icon. You don't need. This. But this is uh, this uh, website has all of this. But uh, the thing is, uh, sometimes they have a channel channel name, but the, and then channel name might not be the, the even that's a company name, they, you know, that might not be the author, right? The channel name will be uh, the, in the same place if you are if you have a personal channel, you know, someone use their name, but someone use uh, something else. So that, that, that way they, they cannot get the name, right? Okay, okay. And uh, yeah, so that, that's why. But the thing is for YouTube, it's a little bit different. YouTube, uh, when you upload, uh, because I tried once, because that's also because they ask this, I just go to YouTube, I saw, see how can I get a CC comma. And then I found that they do have a place to get a CC comma, but they only have one, they only have one license. That's the attribution only. They don't have the other four. So that means if you put it there, you can, you just let people use or, you know, modify, do anything. Yeah. But uh, for more serious place, 
for example, actually, because let me make the presentation too loud. There's a, a way to 30 on um, Flickr, you know Flickr, right? It's many pictures and uh, Google, even for Google, there's a way for you to search the work, the word or article that's uh, with CC commons. They, they all pr provide the feature for you to search. And then the uh, right way. So that's why they call it the best practice. So if you put all this information, you, you can think about that. If anyone wants to use it, they will, they don't need to go everywhere. So, oh, uh, you know, what's uh, the name? What's a person? Th that's very clear. They just, that's why it said uh, help other attribute you. I think it's easier. Oh, yeah. no, that, I, don't I, really I get it. it. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, uh, but that's this part uh, all very easy, always be ignored by people. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? I mean, my report. I'm good. Uh, let me just make another screenshot picture. <laughs> picture. Pick an, I, I think I would. Uh, yeah, great. Great. Good job, guys. Good job. Yeah, thank you so much. I think uh, yours, um, uh, Martina, your presentation is very casual, like a, <laughs> a live, you know, life related. Mine is a little bit too serious, right? <laughs> Yeah, well, no, I don't know. I guess I'm I really to... like the uh, Martina, the, the poll uh, EV. Every, is, it, is that what it's called? Poll everywhere? Yeah. Never seen that before. And I thought that was so rad. So I put a little yeah, star like there. Like, going to yeah. try this one here. And um, and Yulin, like, I thought, honestly, even though you, you say that your, your topic was very serious, um, I totally fell into that trap as well. I just said, oh, the, the teacher told me to, copy this link and toss it there. And I, yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't even take the consideration to really read into it. So no, I really appreciate that you actually did the work. And now I know a little bit more about that. I'm more aware of it. So no, that's, that's great. Appreciate that. And I'm glad that you're using cahoots. That's awesome. <laughs> I learned from you last time. I totally, I, I totally, I didn't know about this at all. I mean, last time when you Guys, ask me to use that. I use that on the, uh, you know, the computer. Mm -hmm. So I just uh, okay. Just uh, I, I was uh, very, uh, you know, the most slow one. But uh, today I have a problem with the poll uh, thing because uh, uh, the first time I put something, and then later I just found it disappeared. It asked me to join again, and then I don't remember your, you know, the name. And because I, I, we needed to put a Martina solo, I don't know. So why it's a, just a just a, a while? It asked me to ask uh, to join again, and then I so that's why you you, you didn't maybe you, I don't know if you can tell who is uh, who is the response and who is not right. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get a chance to respond. I said, oh, I needed to figure out what's your name. <laughs> Uh, but I remember that's just your first name, last name, but I don't remember the last three number. I remember you have a number. And uh, then I found something, oh, it's here. It said, oh, recent uh, presentation. That means that I can re-enter use that one. But then it asked me, uh, do you want to join? You know, do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? But the cell phone, you know, the screen is very small. It just covered the whole thing. I cannot do other thing. I did, I couldn't do other things. That, mm -hmm. But maybe that's just my phone has a problem. It's just uh, some pop up, pop up. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you everyone. Thank you. Is gone. Yeah, thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs> are you guys all? Are you all finished now? Is this your last project? No, no I, have I have two. <laughs> I have a uh, no. I should say I have one and uh, one third, right? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, good, good luck. Uh, one, awesome. one. Thank you, and congratulations to you. You're already done, right? Yes, I'm. I, yeah, when I when I when you reached out to me, I'm like, oh, I'm like they're doing. Tw I'm like, I'm gonna get on this Twitter thing. <laughs> well, I have a, a different course now, but I was like, well, I'll watch your guys' uh, presentations for oh, sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, congratulations. But I have a question for you, Carl. So when is your official finish date? So you are very, very early. When is your official? You you know you you are supposed to finish. What what's? Uh, I'm not sure. I know I got that one done in in like two weeks. Oh yeah. So if, you, but, if, 
you're not in our you're not in our group you're in the group that's later than us right well i i think um i was in team mike and the person that i was supposed to be with like i i get on the conversation with moodle i figured i'm like i better get a hold of this person just to see where they're at but i'll still do my other assignments and then that person never communicated with me so i was going through the different feeds i noticed that in november you guys were like communicating i'm like okay <laughs> let's, go, let's introduce myself here and see what's going on and then i kind of just snuck in and and then you joined you so i was a week before uh before you uh three 